So the House Select Committee investigating the Capitol attack just postponed the testimony of two witnesses, Mike Flynn and a guy named Nicholas Luna. Let's talk about what this might mean. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So we just learned that the House Select Committee has postponed the testimony of two witnesses, Mike Flynn and a guy named Nicholas Luna, a former aide to Donald Trump. Here is today's reporting from CNN. January 6th committee postpones depositions with Michael Flynn and Trump's personal assistant. And that article begins, one-time Trump national security advisor Michael Flynn and the former president's personal assistant, who were scheduled to be deposed by a congressional committee Monday, have been granted short postponements a committee aide tells CNN. The depositions were postponed as Flynn and Nicholas Luna engage with the House Select Committee's investigation into January 6. Flynn was involved in a meeting about how the Trump campaign wanted to promote the lie that the 2020 presidential election was stolen. The committee's interest in Luna, who has been referred to as Trump's body man, stems from his close proximity to the former president and White House officials. Well, first of all, what kind of job description from hell is that Donald Trump's body man? So I'm going to talk about Mike Flynn in a minute, but first of all, let's talk about who is this Nicholas Luna character? Well, apparently he was Donald Trump's body man, personal assistant, And he was also infected with the coronavirus by Donald Trump. This from October 2020. And there he is on the left with two other Trump body men, Dan Scavino and Jared Kushner. And the headline reads, Trump aide Nick Luna tests positive for the coronavirus. White House aide Nick Luna, who serves as a personal attendant to President Trump, has tested positive for the coronavirus. Luna's diagnosis emerged a little more than 24 hours after Trump entered the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center for treatment of COVID-19 after his own infection. Uh, You know, old typhoid Mary has nothing on Donald Trump. The other thing about this Jonathan Luna character is he has an active LinkedIn page with his 293 connections, and here's how he describes himself. He lists himself as a consultant for the United States Department of Defense from 2017 through present, and he also lists himself as a professional actor from May 2010 through the present. So, Not sure if he was an actor moonlighting as Trump's body man or vice versa. But I think we can all agree, only the best people. Well, we'll have to wait and see what exactly the House Select Committee thinks it can learn from um, Trump body man and professional actor Nicholas Luna. So let's turn to former Army General and traitor to our nation, Mike Flynn. Why do I say traitor to our nation? Well, I was in court the day Mike Flynn was supposed to be sentenced when Judge Emmett Sullivan said to him, Sir, you arguably sold out your country. You disrespected everything our flag stands for. And then General Flynn backed up and asked to delay his sentencing. And of course, the rest is history. Sad, regrettable history, because that gave Donald Trump the opportunity to pardon Mike Flynn before he was ever sentenced. 
after Mike Flynn pleaded guilty to committing crimes against the United States. In my opinion, Mike Flynn should be restored to active duty and he should be court-martialed. I court-martialed plenty of soldiers as an Army JAG, albeit back in the 80s, and there wasn't one of them who damaged our nation the way Mike Flynn damaged our nation. Yes, he should be restored to active duty and court-martialed. But here's what I want to say about these postponements, because every time we hear about something being postponed, you know, we say to ourselves, will accountability ever come? Will we ever see justice? And it's frustrating, and I get that. I am as frustrated as you all. But just because we hear of what's being reported as a brief delay, a brief postponement by Mike Flynn and this Nicholas Luna character, that doesn't automatically mean it's a bad thing. The reporting is also that Mike Flynn is engaging with the committee, even though he's been granted a brief postponement. We don't know what that means, that he's engaging with the committee, but with his testimony being briefly postponed, I don't think we should automatically leap to the conclusion that this is a bad thing for the investigation. And I believe that Representative Benny Thompson and Representative Liz Cheney are strong, smart, serious co-chairs of the House Select Committee investigating the insurrection. It was just Liz Cheney who the other day announced that they are plowing through 250, soon to be 300 interviews and depositions of witnesses. And in early 2022, they will be prepared to present public testimony for weeks is what she said. Bringing to our attention in vivid color is what she said. What was happening every minute of the Capitol attack, both at the Capitol and at the White House. So it's hard to hold the frustration at bay when we hear that the traitor Mike Flynn has been granted a postponement of his deposition. But I still believe, friends, that we're going to get there. We have to get there. There's no other choice. And justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.